fans, this is Stephen Forrester, your Eastland County Today Sports Editor. I'm just looking here at the latest copy of the sports edition found in our paper. It is outstanding. And I want just to encourage you, if you haven't picked up a copy, to do so at your local newsstand. Or, what I've got even a better offer is to subscribe to the Eastland County Today. For $45 for the entire year, you can have the Eastland County Today with the sports page and, the, and, and all the county news delivered to your mailbox. $45 entire year, every week, the paper will come to your mailbox. And with the, the, the physical edition, we also provide a digital edition for you, for your tablet, for your phone, for your laptop. You get, you get access and you see the entire paper in digital color. It is outstanding to look at. You get it about Wednesday evening, even before the hard, comp hard copy comes out Thursday. To subscribe, you can either contact the office at 629 1707 or you can email me ecn sports at att.net and we will take care of you man this is what you get you get football news sport uh, pictures volleyball cross country basketball baseball you're going to get it all plus the news of the county subscribe today to eastland county today hello sports fans Welcome to the Ranger Coaches Show. In just a few moments, we're going to go to the field house and check in with Coach Hamilton to see how the Bulldogs did this past Friday evening. We certainly want to appreciate. We want to tell you thank you, and we appreciate you tuning in last week and continue to tune in as we bring you everything that goes on with the Bulldogs and the Lady Bulldogs. Let's now go to the field house and see how what Coach Hamilton had to say about Friday night's game. Uh, unfortunately, the Bulldogs lost 14-6 to to Dawson. They played a hard – they had a chance. Coach tells me they had a chance at the end to, to at least tie the game. Unfortunately, the ball fell on the ground. Let's see what Coach Hamilton has to say. All right, Coach Hamilton, thanks for your time this Monday morning. Uh, good game Friday evening. You almost come away with a victory. As, you, as we talked earlier, you're close there at the, at, at the final gun. Uh, tell us, after seeing the film, after seeing it from the, your sideline, uh, give your assessment first game with the, the Ranger Bulldogs. Our kids played extremely hard. We played four quarters of football. Uh, they never gave up. They never quit. We had the same effort late in the game that we had in the first quarter. And if we... If we're getting that effort out of our kids and we're turning the corner and we're, we're going the right direction. Uh, we did have a chance to, to at least tie it uh, in the last 10 seconds and we went out, uh, we ran out of time, we ran out of timehouse, we, we ran out of time on the goal line trying to punch it in and, and that's part of the, the growing process to, to finish. So I was proud of our kids' effort and, and proud of what they accomplished so far. Yes, sir. Uh Tell us a little bit about your, your offense. You, you were able to uh, score at least one touchdown. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us tell us how, uh, about how your offense played. We played well. Uh, we had some, some injuries and some things early in the second quarter, which took us out of our, uh, our shotgun spread stuff. And we had to go under center and readjust at halftime. Uh, you know, we, we had some mental mistakes. We, we had a fumble uh, going into the goal line to score again. And that, and that was our fault. We, we moved the kid to running back late in the week. And, uh, we were concerned about him running the football and carrying the football because we hadn't, we, we didn't have the individual time to, to change how he was carrying the ball. And when our biggest fear was he would fumble, and that, that's our coach's fault. That's my fault. And, uh, and he, you know, we laid it down the ground. I think we laid it down on the on the three yard line, mm -hmm. and we laid it down again about the sixteen yard line mm -hmm. going in. And, and those are two crucial uh, fumbles that, that are different in the game. But again, that's on our coaches. We we had to move a kid late due to some off the field things. And, that's, that's what we had to do. Yes, sir. All right, Coach, let's talk about Friday evening. Uh, you play Frost in Frost. Uh, what do you know about Frost, and how, what have you seen, and how are they going to challenge the Bulldogs? They're an athletic football team. They're a good ball club. I, watching the film that we've seen, they've got a quarterback that can go. Uh, they've got a defensive lineman that, that, that's pretty good, and, and they're going to attack. They're going to blitz us, and they're going to bring pressure. Uh, what we have to do is we just have to keep the building process and, and play four quarters of football. Um, you know, we tell our kids as long as as long as we're within reach, down a touchdown or up a touchdown, going into the fourth or in the fourth, we have a chance either way. And, and so, uh, 
you know, that's where we got to be. We got to start the game and win the first and, and, and compete the second, third, and win the fourth. Uh, just get it to the fourth. So uh, they're athletic. They've got some kids that can play. They're well coached. And, uh, and we've got a lot of kids out here right now with a lot of heart and a lot of effort, and they have something to prove. They feel like uh, people in the area are, are against them and don't give them a chance because they're from Ranger, and they haven't bought into that, and they want to prove themselves. So we feel good about Friday night. We feel good about uh, – about where we're going, you know, we just we got to stay the course, get to the fourth quarter, and, and see what happens late, and learn how to finish. Great, coach. Thanks for your time this Monday morning. Have a great week. Thank you. Thanks, Coach Hamilton, for taking time out of your Monday morning to spend with us. What's going on this Friday night in Bulldog Land? The Ranger Bulldogs will travel to Frost to take on. Frost. It's probably going to be kind of cold. No, I'm just teasing. I just had to throw that out there. Sorry, being Frost. But Ranger and Frost kickoff is 7.30 this Friday evening. The Lady Bulldogs are playing volleyball. Well, they have been. They've had a, a week or two break. They're going to play again the first week of September. And as they get closer to district, we'll continue to let you know how the Lady Bulldogs are going. All right, let's go Bulldogs. Yeah!